Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at official SteamOS running on a gaming laptop. And on the channel, you know, we've built PCs with official SteamOS. We've installed it on other handhelds and mini PCs, but we've yet to take a look at it on a real gaming laptop with a dedicated GPU. Mainly because, uh, you know, access to a gaming laptop with an AMD GPU is kind of scarce, but I've had this for a couple of years. This has been my wife's main gaming laptop, and I talked her into letting me use it for a video. Hopefully I don't destroy it, but so far, I mean, this has been working, but there are a couple issues that I've run into. With this laptop, it's got a 16 by 10 aspect ratio display, and as you can see, in SteamOS itself, it's working really well. But as soon as I get into a game, I actually can only go to 16 by 9 for some odd reason, even though I've got it set to 16 by 10. And enabling an override from within the settings or even the game really doesn't change anything, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. And of course, you know, SteamOS isn't really meant to be run on a laptop like this, so I expected to encounter a few issues here and there. And the other thing I can't get working is RGB control on the keyboard, but that's something I can personally live without. This is more of a test, just kind of a proof of concept to see if it works. And what we've got here is an ASUS ROG G14. It's powered by an AMD Radeon 6900HS, so we've got 8 cores, 16 threads, up to 5.1 gigahertz. It'll do up to 80 watts, and we can control the TDP from within SteamOS without even using a third-party plug-in. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM here, and for our dedicated GPU, this has the AMD Radeon RX 6700S with 8 gigs of VRAM. And with Windows installed on this, I mean, it's done a really good job. It does get a bit toasty, I mean, given the form factor of the unit itself. And this thing is pushing some power when you're playing a game at, let's say, 1600p on the 16 by 10 aspect ratio display. And that 6700S is hanging in there. I would do this on an NVIDIA laptop, but unfortunately, we just can't get SteamOS or official SteamOS installed over there. And if you wanted to use a third-party OS like Bazite, which is very similar, there's a lot of bugs with NVIDIA drivers right now. So that's why we had to go AMD. And this is the most powerful laptop with an AMD dedicated GPU that I have access to right now. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into it. So far, the system's been working great, and we've only got access to the 6700S here. The 680M cannot be accessed right now because I've used the third-party application to kind of totally disable it, at least from SteamOS from seeing it. This was something that I've been running into, and I have wanted to get SteamOS installed on this even back when Bazite was ready to go, but it just kept detecting that iGPU. And we do have access to everything that we have over on the Steam Deck. TDP limit does work directly from here. And since we've got the 6800 HS, we can go up to 80 watts with it. But when it comes to manual GPU control, it shows that it'll go up to 1600 like on the Steam Deck, but it falls right back down to zero, so it's not working. So we do have TDP control. GPU is just gonna be controlled from the BIOS. And unfortunately, there's not much control there. So it's gonna kind of do what it needs to do. Checking out our settings, I'll show you exactly what this thing has. I didn't even have to install something like SteamOS 3.8. We're actually using SteamOS Hollow 3.624. As you can see, we've got that AMD Ryzen 9 6900 HS, up to five gigahertz, eight cores, 16 threads. I've only got 16 gigs of RAM with this system and it should be fine because we're not gonna be using any of that for VRAM because we've got that AMD Radeon RX 6700 S with eight gigs of dedicated VRAM. We could still access the desktop if we want to. I have also installed, I've got Decky installed. So if we did wanna go through, download new themes, we could. Fantastic doesn't work for fan control. That's something I really wanted to you know, get working there. But uh, so far, not too bad. And with that 6700S with SteamOS, this thing is a really good performer. And that's the next thing I wanna jump into. I want to check out some gaming here. So let's start out here with, we'll do Cyberpunk 2077. 1440p, high settings, FSR set to quality. Like I mentioned, I can't go up to 2560 by 1600 with the games. It's really odd here. It's got to be a major bug with the GPU driver. Either way, I mean, it's running pretty well here, but I'm not noticing a huge jump over something like the 6600M, which I've tested extensively in SteamOS. Now with that, I do have to take FSR to balance to kind of get the same performance. 
And online, it states that these do have the same amount of shaders. This is clocked up a bit higher, but in SteamOS, we're not hitting those really high clocks on the 6700S. It works great like it is, I mean, at 1440p here, but it kind of looks like maybe we've got another 1440p high card, 1080 Ultra, even in SteamOS with this thing. Next up, we've got Borderlands 3 high settings, 1440p, and I'm going to swap over to my game capture in a second so we can get a better look at everything. It's running pretty decently like this, but I've got a couple hiccups here and there, and that's kind of been the case with everything in SteamOS and even Windows lately, especially on AMD cards, be it a DGPU or an iGPU. Still playable. We're getting over 70 FPS on average with it at 1440p on this laptop. This is one of those games that's very well optimized and it works great with AMD cards, even iGPUs at a lower resolution, obviously. But since we've got a DGPU here, we're able to take this up to 1440p, very high, but I had to take FSR to balance. I was kind of hoping I didn't need FSR at 1440 and at 1080 or 1200p, you won't need it at very high settings. But if you wanted to take that resolution up, yeah, that's where we gotta be. Witcher 3, 1440p, high settings. I didn't need FSR or anything like that. And of course, with FSR enabled or even dynamic resolution scale, we can get way up with the frame rate. Right now, we're seeing an average of around 72 FPS. But going into this, I figured we'd be in the 90s with it, given that we've got that 6700S. And, you know, Linux could be holding us back just a bit here, but noticing a difference between Windows and Linux with most of the stuff that I've tested, it's really anywhere between 10 to 25 frames, and it can go either way depending on the game. Here's Spider-Man 2 at 1440p, high settings with FSR set to balance. And this game still isn't right. I mean, the developers have put out some newer updates to kind of fix updates that they released that kind of botched a lot of stuff, especially on lower end GPUs. This was Steam Deck verified at one time, then it went out of Steam Deck verification. Not sure if it'll ever be relisted as Steam Deck Verified, but it's not horrible here. And you know, with the settings we have, it does look great at 1440p. It'd just be nice to be able to turn FSR completely off here. One game that I was really excited about testing was Doom The Dark Ages, but as soon as I get into gameplay, you can see everything's black. I've tried different versions of Proton, different resolutions, different settings, and I probably should have noticed because from the main menu, the Doom Slayer is totally missing from the right hand side. It's just something I didn't notice going into it. So right now we're kind of out of luck with Doom The Dark Ages, but the next best thing Doom Eternal, 1440p, ultra performance, 100% resolution scale, over 100 FPS on average. And I tried to unlock the frame rate. I've actually got it unlocked from the game itself, so no V-Sync is on, and unlock frame rate from SteamOS, but it's still locking us at 120, and in some cases I know this can go well above it, but either way you look at it, this is fully playable at 1440p, ultra nightmare, over 100 FPS on average. And the final game I wanted to test was Oblivion Remastered. I had to drop this down to 1080p to get decent performance out of it if I didn't want to go to low settings, because even at medium 1440 with FSR set to balanced or even XESS, we still had some dips under that 60 mark. And I know there's people out there that have been running into issues with this game in Linux, no matter what variant you're running, and even Windows but I figured we'd be able to do 1440 at least medium settings with this over 60, but we've still got those dips. And as you can see, even at 1080 high settings, we're only seeing an average of around 74 FPS. So we definitely need some more performance updates for this game. So overall, performance is really good on this laptop, and I figured it would be with that 6900HS paired up with that Radeon RX 6700S. But like you saw, there are some issues. We have no RGB control on this keyboard, and there are third-party plugins that we may be able to install in SteamOS to get RGB control. 
But the main issue I've run into, and it's probably just an OS update issue, is not being able to take the games to a 16 by 10 aspect ratio on the built-in display. We had to run them at 16 by 9, even though we've got a 16 by 10 screen. But other than that, it's not a bad little system with SteamOS installed. It's just too bad that we don't see a lot of laptops with AMD dedicated GPUs. And until NVIDIA fixes drivers that allow it to kind of work correctly with SteamOS and the overlay and everything like that, then we're kind of out of luck when it comes to like a really powerful laptop with SteamOS installed. But this is about as good as I could get it with that 6700S. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.